EB cross. Now to do this, you're going to have one arm behind your back and one arm in front of your um, stomach. Now to get into this, you're going to want to start from here. The rope's going to come over your head. Now when the rope comes over your head, right here you're going to pick whichever hand you want to go behind your back. Now you should be able to learn to do it both ways. So right now we're just going to pick one hand. I'm going to put my left arm behind my back. I'm going to go from here. Left arm behind my back, right arm is going to go in front of my stomach. Now right away you'll notice that you can see my handle sticking out on this side. If you can't see that, if it's only in the middle of your back, you're not going to be able to do this skill very well. So you want to make sure that you get that handle all the way out. Now a good thing that I've learned to do if I'm using just a normal short handled rope, they do have long handle ropes that some people use. I don't really like them because they kind of limit what you're able to do with jumping. So. I use a short handled rope. Now to make sure that I get enough clearance with this trick, instead of holding it at the very end like a lot of people do, I'm actually going to slide down. I've got this little piece at the end of the rope here that I'm going to just sort of grip with these two fingers. Now these are the fingers that I'm going to use to hold the rope. So when I do this, by using just those fingers to hold the rope, it gives me an extra couple of inches that I can use to get this skill a little bit easier. So. When you're doing this, you want to, you usually start here, but as you swing into it, slide your fingers out so you get that little bit of extra clearance. Now from here, you're going to go from here, one arm behind, one arm in front. You've got the enough clearance. You should be able to see both handles out on either side so it's clearing you. Now to swing the rope, we're going to start with the rope over, come over, around, and if you're swinging the rope in a very straight forward to backward motion, the rope should go right over your head. So you're going to go from here around, rope should come over your head and you should be able to catch it on under your toes. Now a lot of people that I've seen when they try to do this, they tend to have this problem where they go here and it whips around and it hits them either on the neck or it swings around and just sort of wraps them up. You want to try to make sure that you're not going super fast when you first do this because that can be one of the problems. You don't want to be swinging sideways when you're going into this. A lot of people, it's almost like they're doing a side swing. They come here, side swing around and then they'll swing it sideways. So you, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that the rope is in a very straightforward to backward motion while you're going. So you go from here, over, forward and backward, and the rope should come right over and you should be able to catch it under your toes. Now from here there's a couple different things that you can do. You, there's, you can either come straight out and not jump, which is just a regular EB, or the EB cross, you jump it. To do the regular EB, we're going to start here, comes over, swings out, right there I just bring my arms apart and I don't even have to jump and the rope's able to go back over my head. So from here it comes over and out. Now if you're going to do this, it's a good idea to practice doing it on the other side. So you go from here, out, go back to another EB on the other side, and you should be able to go back and forth with this without even jumping. This is a good re sort of resting trick if you're using it for a workout, and it also helps to work with your coordination. So you should be able to go nice and easy without even jumping over the rope. Now once you've got the regular EB, you can start doing the EB cross. Now the EB cross, you're going to do this, come over. Right where it's catching under your toes, you're going to jump over the rope this time. So when the rope's behind, it's going to come over, swing, jump, and then I just bring my arms out and I'm able to jump forward. You can either do it that way or you can jump, allow it to come over you again, and then go back out into an EB, just a standard EB. So there's two different ways of getting out of this, either here and out or here and out. And then once again, if you could do it on your right side, do it on your left side, so you go back and forth with the EB cross. Varsity skill. For the varsity skill, we're going to be doing a quadruple.